reset to factory default. Caliper. This is my Jackson Bernacle Aftermaths. The pickups are worth more than the guitar. Yes, that's true. They're awesome. <laughs> Anyways, all right, so we're going to open up the cabinet, and we want to dial in something unique, so we're just going like, to... Let's try this diesel one. All right. Fuck the SF57. Sounds fucking nasty. I don't like it. Yeah, I like flabbing a sheet of my pants. It just kind of, you know, let the muse take you and just like, just try some stuff. I haven't even touched the amp yet. All right, okay, let's go. Sounds awesome. Let's... Let's put that back to... Yeah. Let's go into the settings. <clears throat> Show app settings, uh, modern, vintage. Boost it. I haven't even turned the noise gate on yet. Isn't that amazing? The noise... Cool, eh? Um... It just blows my fucking mind. You always got to turn it up just a little bit above there if you want it to be tight. Honestly, just fuck, man. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Let's go over here. We always, oh yeah, I'm already there. We're gonna, we're gonna go here. We're gonna do the five. Where you can't, you're, the human ear generally can't hear anything above sixteen, anyways. So fuck off. 
You want to clean up the, just get rid of the lower. You just want to do that every time. <laughs> Just tightens it up. All right, so now you might be tempted to pull some 4K out here because that classic 4K ice pick thing people talk about is a good time to talk about a parametric EQ. All right, so we're gonna go. That's that's 4K, 4,000, right? So. So this is this is the the Q here. That it's at 4K. So this is the Q. When it's all the way to the right, um, it's the it's the tightest peak possible. Like if you think of an EQ thing, like the more you go this way, the more the spike widens out into a bump. So you want to turn this all the way to the top to make it as tight as possible, and you want to boost it all the way. And now you can hit. Ow! Hold on. See, you can hear the wide bump. There's a focus. There's the focused one, right? That's letting way more in across the spectrum of EQ. That one's tight and focused. Okay, so now you sweep around in here and listen for the really wild. Right? So you, you want to keep it, you want to like ease, open it up just a little bit. And now you want to minus it. Just a little bit, right? No, I might wanna. Add a little, little high-end boost there. Let's hear it without. I think that sounds better. But anyways, you experiment with it, play with it. You want to be, you just don't get heavy-handed. <laughs> you could add another one if you want too, and grab a different frequency in there. Anyways, we're not going to do that. We are going to uh, add a little bit of delay. All right, so uh, this is just for thickening up the rhythm plane, right? So we want less, less of those, and that will turn this down to like two percent if I can get it there. You can always type it in too. You could like, oh, whoops, two. Enter. All right, cool. Just so you can barely hear it. Now I'm going to do a little bit of chorus. All right, just like the delay, we're going to set this up so you can't hear it. <laughs> Warm it up a little bit. That's why, and I haven't even touched the fucking app settings. I could probably turn, I could probably get away with turning the gain down even too. <laughs> <laughs> that 
was ridiculous. <laughs> Got to remember that Screaver is cutting a lot of low end note coming in, so you can just turn the bass up. You don't need to turn up the press. Yeah, it sounds fucking awesome. I go think I'd go with that. Oh, terrible. But anyways, you get the idea. Most of that tone scoping came from the IR. <laughs> Anyways, that's how I do it. Rock and roll. <laughs>